had started in the 1950s, maybe even before that. Canadians had fought and survived two world wars, but we weren't prepared for this new coming threat. We were being invaded, not by land and not by sea, but by the airwaves. What do you mean I don't treat you like a woman? I treat you like a woman. I let you sew, I let you cook, I let you wash the windows, I let you clean up. Ah! American entertainment was streaming over our border, and cultural imperialism didn't seem so bad at first. We weren't battling the Hun, we were watching the Honeymooners, and Lucy, and the Beav. Boy, Beaver, wait till the guys find out you were hanging around with a girl. But as time marched on, the nation's moms and dads grew increasingly concerned. They searched for a solution to the ever-increasing Yankee influence on their kids. And finally, an idea began to form. What if, just what if, the government could mandate something a policy, a law, a decree from the Crown that we, as Canadians, must consume Canadian films, television, and music. And thus CanCon was born. And what was the result of this policy? Dumb jerk! You've been kicked in the head! Did you know that Canadians celebrate Thanksgiving at the beginning of October, and yet Americans celebrate their Thanksgiving at the end of November? That means we must have invented it. Close your eyes and you will find that you've arrived in Frankenstein. What you said was true. I am skinny and ugly and my hair is red. It just doesn't matter if we win or we lose! A shocking new vision from the creator of Scanners. I'm cutting your head! I'm cutting your head! From the latest figures, film and television production in Canada is a $9 billion a year business, a third of which comes from original Canadian programming. But historically, Canadian entertainment has been a tough sell to Canadians. Why is that? From Knockabout Media, I'm Ryan Barnett. And this is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood North, a new podcast in which we deep dive into the history behind your favorite CanCon. We'll be tackling tax shelter filmmaking, the disappearance of Casey and Finnegan, the meteoric rise of a little girl from Charlemagne, Quebec to her eventual throne atop the world. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. In our first series, we'll focus on one of the most important and enduring sketch comedy troops of the last 50 years, The Kids in the Hall. We'll explore the story behind the kids and their groundbreaking show that ran for five seasons on your CBC. Their creativity, triumphs, and missteps, and how the group's iconoclastic approach to sketch comedy may have hurt them in the short term, but could be the key to their enduring appeal. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood North is coming bi-weekly starting November 2nd. Find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you find your podcasts.